The biggest issue that many people are interested in these days is the news related to the coronavirus. There is also news that AI can be used effectively for infectious disease, including coronavirus. So I want to summar summarize this. The biggest news in this regard is an article that was recently published in Wired titled An AI Epidemiologist Sent the First Warnings of the Wuhan Virus. A company called Blue Dot in Canada warned the CDC and others very early about the possibility of Wuhan's coronavirus spreading very quickly. You can check various things on the company's website. Uh, this is Dr. Kalman Khan, CEO of the company, who majored in infectious disease at the University of Toronto. If you look at the contents of the website, it is argued that uh, the solution of Blue Dot tracks infectious disease and evaluates the risk. If you look further into the details, you can see that there are already quite a few things that have been done. The most impressive is the paper published in the famous medical journal The Lancet, titled Anticipating the International Spread of Zika Virus from Brazil. In this paper, the Blue Dot team became famous for predicting the spread of Zika virus, which started in Brazil, especially in South Florida. Looking at how it was predicted, International travelers' movement around the world were obtained and analyzed with the help of the data from International Air Transport Association from September 2014 to August 2015. While at the same time estimating local populations from LandScan, uh, a gridded global population dataset, showing how the spread of Zika virus would proceed. Blue Dot is a company that started a business based on this kind of research. Maybe it's a company built on this solid research, so it's already got funded a lot. This is how uh, the product is introduced. It uses a variety of data, including targeted infectious disease, mobility data, news about animal epidemics, and real-time climate. There is a platform called Insights, that have automated surveillance systems for certain infectious disease and notifies about the risks. And another one is Explorer, GIS platform for custom infectious disease risk assessment. According to interviews and website content, 65 language news reports are analyzed using natural language processing or machine learning technologies and aviation data and animal disease outbreak news are used. As some have known, social media data have not been used because of their poor reliability. For example, the news of the increasing number of patients showing flu symptoms in Wuhan is collected in Chinese. And if you combine airline data from Wuhan, you can see that flu is spreading. In fact, in case of the coronavirus, they were able to warn of the uh, spread of the virus about a week earlier than any anywhere else. However, this is not the first time that such an attempt has been made to predict the spread of the infectious disease. It's not good to expect too much all the time. There was a very famous service called Google Flu Trends, using Google's search query to predict the spread of influenza. It has served more than 25 countries since 2008 and predicted very accurately for the first two or three years. However, you may haven't heard the news lately. Why? Because the service was terminated in 2015. The biggest reason uh, is that it missed the peak of the 2013 uh, flu season by 140%. Because of this, people underestimated the pandemic and, and the side effect was serious. Uh, if the over-believed service is wrong, the blow is as great. Research on the cause of such a big mistake has also been conducted. The biggest problem was that, was that predictions were relatively accurate uh, in the first two or three years, 
but there have been signs that the predictions would be slightly different since then. The pattern of such query changes and other conditions change, but the service did not make much of a difference from what was originally created. They didn't catch these signals well, and they didn't respond pro properly. Then a big accident happened in 2013. So just because a new service got it right once or twice, you shouldn't expect it to fit in the future. Continuous monitoring, calibration, and maintenance efforts are required to remain a good service. Similar services have been developed in Korea, the app called Fever Coach by Mobile Doctor. When you measure children's body temperature and enter it into the app, the app uh, provides information on how to treat them, what medicines to, to take, and more. When data is gathered in large numbers, analysis of the data can lead to more. They collected about 5 million cases of temperature data and symptoms and performed epidemic disease analysis, such as uh, hand foot mouth disease, influenza. In some cases, the research was conducted to provide a kit for the application of a flu preemptive diagnosis. The results of the study were quite good too. Furthermore, in 2016, the company released an released infectious disease report predicting the trend of 21 infectious diseases, such as influenza and hand foot mouth disease, about a week earlier than the CDC in Korea. However, few investors believed it would be a business, so they did not receive the same attention and huge investment as Canada's Blue Dot. Anyway, monitoring infectious diseases with AI need to be watched with great interest in the future because we are entering the new infectious disease era.